My youngest daughter isn't a part of any circles. She doesn't have a circle of friends. She isn't on any sports teams or dance teams or any after-school teams that form their own circles. She isn't impressed with the popularity or the cliques or the competitiveness that we involve our children with. She isn't aware of what skin color someone is or how we form our circles based off of culture and race. There is no trace of bias in her. Because when you're with her, life is different. She doesn't create these circles nor endorse them. She will never force them on anyone. She doesn't understand that these circles are created to only keep certain people in them. She loves all people. She does not believe in circles. One day, my daughter saw some girls around her age singing Ring Around the Rosy in a circle. My daughter went up to them to be a part of that circle, and they would not allow her in it. Was it because she was a different skin color? Was it because they sensed her autism? Whatever the reason, their circle was closed to her, and it shattered my heart. This example goes back to the start of why circles are created. Society uses circles as a way of isolating others, reminding others that they're different. Circles are never-ending. They continue in the same direction without fail. There is no trail of change when following the course of a circle. So how do we fix this? How do we twist this pattern and break its rhythm? Parents, when you talk to your children, what advice do you give them? Do you unknowingly lay these footprints down on these circles for them? What are you teaching your children? See, my daughter doesn't believe in circles, but she believes in your children. She believes that if a circle is in front of her, it will open for her. Parents teach your children to open their circles so that one day they no longer exist.